Good afternoon. My name is Mark Shuttleworth, and I'm speaking today in support of Stellenbosch University's decision to sign the Berlin Declaration for Open Access to Research and Open Science. I'm speaking from home, so I have to apologize in advance for the sounds of ducks and sheep and donkeys in the distance. If they do intrude uh, today, they are also, I'm sure, fully in support of, the, uh, of your decision to sign the Berlin, Berlin Declaration. Uh, we're in the middle of a fundamental shift uh, in society globally. And that shift has been catalyzed, as always, by technology. Uh, technology is making it possible to connect people together today in profoundly new and exciting and interesting ways. The internet has made it possible to, to, to create collaborative processes where previously we had to create exclusive, separate, and proprietary processes. And the Berlin Declaration essentially represents uh, the realization that those collaborative processes, powered by the internet, um, are now the driving force in science and in research. Now, there is great historical pre uh, precedent for um, researchers standing on the shoulders of giants. And the Berlin Declaration essentially uh, says that it is important to accelerate that process and to embrace that process uh, and not to hold it off. Uh, this profound shift in the efficiency of collaboration is going to touch every industry. Uh, in the field of technology, for example, 20 years ago it became clear that uh, we could build software collaborati collaboratively. And the expression of that is open source software. Uh, for, for many years now, open source software has been the preferred platform for innovators. Uh, my own technology work has always been built on open source software, uh, as is that of Yahoo, Google, eBay, and, and many other um, innovators. All of the great websites that have been uh, uh, created in the last 10 years have been built on open source software. And the reason for that is that open processes allow others to do things with our work that we ourselves could never have imagined. You can build things with open source that the creators of those tools didn't themselves envisage. And you can't do that when you're working with closed tools. You can't take a tool which is proprietary and locked down and designed to do only one thing and make it do something very different. And similarly, with science, it's very difficult if you, if you don't have access to the underlying information to come to different conclusions or to, to, to redirect research and thinking in new directions. Collaborative processes today are, are becoming mainstream. They are profoundly important in, uh, in technology, but also starting to become important in, in other industries as well. In the field of teaching, uh, in the last couple of years, it's become clear that we need to provide content on an open basis. So there has been exceptional work around the world, not least uh, work by Mark Horner at the Shuttleworth Foundation, uh, to promote open textbooks. In South Africa, we have an initiative called Siavula, which is about uh, creating a repository of open content that allows uh, teachers to, to get access to the very best work, allows uh, learners to get access to the very best work um, instantly at any time. Uh, but this is now also equally, this is now, this open process is equally important today for research. Uh, and I think the Berlin Declaration captures that and articulates it very beautifully. Now, there are always questions about competitiveness. Competitiveness. Institutions. Uh, uh, depend on uh, their ability to attract talent, to attract resources. And there are serious questions, I think, that need to be answered about how uh, a, an open strategy will, um, will, will change the nature of competitiveness in the research world. Uh, but I would, I would say very clearly that, in my experience, open strategy beats closed strategy. Open source is coming to dominate every new category of software. There may be old legacy software categories where proprietary software still dominates, but in all of the new categories that are being created, it is open source which is leading the way. Similarly, in the field of content, it's very difficult to imagine any proprietary knowledge base competing with something like Wikipedia. Um, restricted content ownership as an industry is dying, but it's being replaced with much more dynamic, much more grassroots uh, uh, forms of content distribution and ownership. The music industry is a classic example of this. The important thing to realize is that the best institutions are always ahead of a change like this, that it is the best institutions who will embrace this first. That, again, is true of the Berlin Declaration. And I commend Stellenbosch for its decision to be a leader and not a follower in this regard. Ultimately, 
We'd like to think that the best ideas win, but the truth is that the best communicated ideas win. An author put it to me very clearly. He said, my, my, my greatest risk is not piracy, the stealing of my content. My greatest risk is obscurity. And it is similar for researchers, that you want to be part of a connected network. Uh, you want to be recognized for the work that you do. And, and great work that you do, which is never recognized, is of little consequence or interest or value to you as an institution or as a researcher. So the Berlin Declaration uh, empowers researchers to get out there, talk um, openly and compellingly about the work that they are doing, uh, and to, to, to generate the, uh, the interest uh, that will sustain them, their work, and the institutions that host them. And so in conclusion, I strongly support Stellenbosch's commitment to the Berlin Declaration. I believe that uh, the future is an open future and that uh, the institutions which lead that process will be the ones that survive uh, the coming shakeout in, uh, in the educational sector and which increase their footprint globally. Thank you, have a wonderful day and congratulations to those who have led uh, this discussion and this process within Stellenbosch.